uh, James Hoffman did a recent video about storage, and um, he talked about the, the end conclusion was that <clears throat> with cupping, there wasn't a huge difference, but when making espresso, the shots that were stored under vacuum looked good, and the shots that were stored under any of the other techniques channeled horribly. Now, he didn't say so in the video, but that means they would taste bad. So the, the, if you watch James's uh, video, it's just like a week ago, about storage, the net net that I got out of it is that we absolutely want to vacuum store our beans if we're making espresso with them. And if you don't, your beans will channel. So with that in mind, I just wanted to show you, this is what I do. Um, I take a backpack machine, and as soon as I get my beans, bean bag, I, I keep one to make right away, and the other three that come in the mail, I hard vac. I suck all the CO2 out, I suck everything out. Um, in order for this to be like that. And three weeks later, they taste great. Oh, and then it's in the freezer. Okay. And when it comes out, of the, uh, when I want to use it, I take it out of the freezer a day early so that it defrost, which is what I did last night. So uh, this is, you know, because this isn't wet, beans are not wet, you can use like a $50, $60 um, air suction <clears throat> uh, backpacker, and, and that will work. But that's my experience, and I recommend that as your coffee storage technology.